guess what everybody I bought a microphone you know one of the things that uh, I found out was that that microphone that I'm using makes my voice better with all the background so I'd like to give a big shout out to vidIQ I'll put their link at the uh, in the description box below uh, I want to give them a big shout out for uh, making that suggestion because man sounds so much better that's not why we're here we're actually here to talk about bad credit and getting RV loans something I'm pretty much been become the king of in the industry so let's go over a couple of things that you're gonna need if you're buying private party or if you're buying from a dealership that you're gonna need if you've got bad credit and you want to buy an RV so let's start now Now, before we get started, I just ask one thing. Down in the right-hand corner, there's a little campsite, a little campfire symbol. That's actually the subscribe button. And please, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this video and want to see future videos. It does help the channel dramatically. So, with that note, nothing further ado. Let's get to it. So, let's start with what is a bad credit RV loan. A bad credit RV loan is a FICO score of less than 700. Okay. The next thing is that your FICO score is over 550. So that is what they consider the word subprime. So with that being said, there's a few things that you're going to need that are going to help you along your journey of getting pre-qualified for a certain dollar amount. So let's start with the dollar amount. Typical uh, RV loan with bad credit is max term of 12 years. So you're not going to get the 15 or 20 year financing that good credit gets, but you will get generally 12 year loans. Okay, And then the most common interest rate for bad credit loans is... 17.95% interest, okay? So if we go to a loan calculator, it will tell you if you plug in the amount financed of $25,000, okay, you will get a payment at 17.95 of... So that gives you kind of an idea of where you need to be. And everybody, just make sure that when you... Go to a loan calculator. You can get it on Google. You can get it on uh, bank websites. In fact, I'll leave a link to my favorite one in the description below. So, now what do you actually need to qualify for the loan? Well, let's start with you will need a paycheck stub. It has to be a recent one. Okay, now if you have two jobs this year you'll need your pay, latest paycheck stub from your current job and your last paycheck from your first job okay and then the next thing you will need is a w-2 form so you'll need all of those in order to qualify for the loan now what are they looking for they're looking for your outgoing bills including your rent, to be less than 35% of your gross income. So 35% of your gross income means before your medical insurance, before taxes. So let's remember that 
before your medical and dental and all that stuff, 401k, and before taxes. Okay, 35%. That's the number. So that means that if you make $4,000 a month or $48,000 a year, your bills between your mortgage, your rent, and all of your credit cards and car payments needs to be less than $1,250. Okay? So if it's more than $1,250, you're more than likely going to need a cosigner in that instance. Okay. But wait a minute. Honey Badger, I'm self- employed well i'll get more in depth in another video but this is what you'll need you'll need two years of tax returns well i haven't filed in two years Ooh. well then if you don't mind a shorter term higher interest rate than what i told you then you can use bank statements okay and i will leave the bank that in California that uses bank statements for RV loans. Not very many of them. I think it's one or two. Okay. And they do a three to five year term, 30% interest loan. Oof. That's rough. I'll need a drink on that one. So, that's what you'll need. The next thing you'll need is you will need. Proof of residence, which includes a utility bill, a cell phone bill combined with an internet bill, or a rental agreement or mortgage statement. All three of those are considered proof of residence. Well, Honey Badger, I only have a credit card statement or my insurance that goes there because I live with my parents. There's ways around that. Not very many of them, but I'm not gonna put that on video because I would get in deep trouble. But I will say that talk to your finance manager at the dealership or talk to your bank about it before you proceed with those alternate options. Okay. So with that being said, that's a short ver short video on the basics of what you will need to get a bad credit RV loan okay now the last thing that you'll need by the way segue because there is a segue video that you will see later down the road and I went into more detail in the video that will be posted at the end and I'll put a link at the bottom I did a little more detail this is just a basic video is that you will need a minimum of boom 10% down 10% cash down. There is no, no zero down with bad credit. Okay? It doesn't exist. So, with all that being said, I will do more detailed videos as we go along. So, if you enjoy this November video on bad credit RV loans, I'm going to put a couple of my other videos on finance down there in the finance or down there in the description box. And don't forget to like the channel and subscribe. If you have any questions, put them in the comments section. And until next time, as the honey badger always says, RV stands for two things. Toolkit and sense of humor. Until next time, happy camping, folks. <laughs>